Hello guys, this is Richard Viz TV and welcome back to my channel. But if you're started the devotion guys, I'd like to shout out the Parang First Word channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to Royal Blog, Joyce Channel, Connie Blog, Yans TV, Heart Ponsalant, Rosel Badon, Cheryl Channel, Psyche Carion, Sweetie Dean Quadra, Jusselin Co Studio, Ciclista Cebu, Francis Laiko, 24-7, Molik Salamada, Michael Aburita, Monique Kilamor, Siki Ina Di Soyo, uh, Choice Channel, Heart Billeta, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Performance Work, Michael Aburita, Jamaica Rimolta, Ana Luisa Cruz Impeg, Retro Blog, and even to those that join during the premiere but still na punta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. TV Praise God, it's Friday, no? Makakapagpahinga na naman tayo ang pisa ngayon, no? Sa mga nagtatrabaho from Monday to Friday, yung mga estudyante, makapagpahinga na rin. And let's enjoy being with our family member kasi kailangan talaga natin yan. The family that prays together stays together. I guess it's number 30 boys. Now let's open the Bible to Matthew chapter 23 verses 37 to chapter 24, verse 2. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Matthew 23, verse 37 to Matthew 24, verse 2 says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how often have I longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her cheeks under her wings, but you were not willing. Look, your house is left to you desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In chapter 22, verse 1 to 2, he says, Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples come up to him to call his attention to its building. Do you see all these things? He asked. I tell you the truth, no one stone. I tell you the truth, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. Amen and amen. I guess let's pray. Father God, many times we forget about you, oh God. It's the self that works, not asking help from you to be with us, oh Lord. That's why Lord is us to be near you always na makasama ka namin palagi o God sa pagtulog namin after this devotional sa paggising namin bukas and even sa pag trabaho namin o God Lord do not neglect us the way you do to the people of Israel na you're going to make their place desolate O Lord we experience desolation O God as if Nawala na kami, Panginoon. Lord, the problem we are suffering at this time is so instant that we can say, wala na kami magagawa, oh God. Lord, thank you that as we acknowledge na wala na kami magawa, oh God, you let us experience of your presence, oh Lord God. Lord, help us, give us strength. Sa iyo lang kami dumudulog, oh God. Because we know we can ask help from you. That's why we pray for the anointing of your wisdom to be upon us, O oh God. Your divine wisdom on what to do with the problem we are experiencing. Help us, O oh God. We also have to pray for our safety, especially that we're not sure that once we go out of our respective houses, O oh God, danger is there. That's why we pray to please send us down your warring angel to guard us and keep us. Let your Holy Spirit be with us, O God. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. 
Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Matthew chapter 23 verse 37 it says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I have longed to gather your children together as a hand gathers her cheeks under her wings. So the title of devotion for this evening guys is To Be Human. Mr. Singing Man, why are you crying? Asked 12 year old Albert, as he watched the master craftsman construct a wooden box. I cry, he said, because my father cried, and because my grandfather cried. The woodworker answered to this young apprentice provides a tender moment in an episode of Little House on the Prairie. Tears, explained Mr. Singerman, come with the making of a coffin. Some men don't cry because they fear it is a sign of weakness, he said. I was taught that a man is a man because he can cry. Emotion must must have welled up in the eyes of Jesus as he compared his concern to Jerusalem, to the care of a mother's hand for her cheeks. This is what we read in verse 27. His disciples were often confused by what they saw in his eyes or heard in his stories. His ideas of what it means to be strong was different. It happened again as they walked with him from the temple, calling his attention to the massive stone walls and magnificent decor of their place of worship. The disciples noted the strength of human accomplishment. Jesus saw a temple that would be labeled in at AD 70. Christ shows us that healthy people knows when to cry and why. He cried because his father cares and his spirit groans for children who couldn't yet see that breaks his heart. Amen and amen. Probably because of the intents of the problem, guys, no. We will really cry. Nakatakot na sitwasyon na maiwanan tayo ni Lord. Na wala tayo Panginoon. There are moments na tumatawag tayo kay Lord, pero we feel it as if walang sagot sa Lord. We feel as if God is not moving in our ways. Napakasakit. Mawala na Panginoon. Mawalan tayo ng mga bagay-bagay. Huwag lang yung Panginoon natin ang mawala. Guys, I know, it's not only me who's suffering from problem, but we too, alam ko, marami din di, sa atin dito may problema. Kaya, let's cry it out to God. Being human, no? Being human, affected talaga tayo. Lalaki ka man, strong ka man, kasi babae, madaling umiyak. Tayo, let's just cry it for God. No? May isang kanta na, For those tears he died. And he said, come to the water. Yun, no? Stand by my side. I know you are weary. It won't be denied. That for those tears, he died. Guys, yung tears natin. Gaya ng sinabi ng author sa binasa natin. We can cry out. Not because of our situation, but because God is there. But because we're helping other people. Kaya, iiyak natin yan kay Lord. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. In what situations in your life might you be Avoiding grief, yes? All of us, no? As much as possible, avoid grief. Iniiwasan natin yung maiyak tayo. No? Kasi the conclusion of other people is, ah, wala, you are so weak. Yes! Papakita natin kay Lord na weak tayo. Because on his, on our own, we can really do nothing. Kay Lord galing ang strength natin. Nawa, God will give us more strength to face the problem, to solve the problem with God's divine wisdom and intervention. Second question, how can your faith in a Savior who Christ 
help you express your grief in a healthy way. Let's humble ourselves down before God, guys. Kasi minsan, umiyak na nga tayo, pero yung pride and doom pa rin. No? Paano tayo tulungan ni Lord? Surrendering ang gusto ni Lord. Giving up all to Him so we can move on. Kaya, iyak natin yan kay Lord. I guess let's now pray. Father, please replace any cold illusion of strength we cling to you, a growing understanding of the case and concern that break your heart for your children like us. Yes, Lord, help us. Amen and amen. Guys, isa puso natin na may na uh, learn tayo this evening to our devotion. Huh? God bless us all, guys, because I know God will sure bless us 10 times better. This again is your TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at tayo sa muli. Paalam!